morning sir, Lucia. And guess what? We, this must be a first on a cruise. It, you may not be able to hear it in the background, but we got woken up by. You probably can't because there's a speedboat. No, the speedboat's going past now. But there's chickens. We got woken roosters. by yeah. roosters this morning. Like, you know, it's like, oh, it's very nice. Yes. This is St. Lucia. Yep. The Castries. Castries, I think it's called. Yeah. But yeah, this is St. Lucia. We're off to go and touch the. The pitons. Touch, touch pitons. the pitons. Touch the pitons. pitons. And then go for a swimming in a water, uh, waterfall. And I think we've got a lunch as well. Like. Oh, is it lunch? I think so. Mm. We'll have a look. We're out for like seven, eight hours, so I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, Josh will be complaining. Starving. Which at the moment he is completely starving, so we're going to have to go get some breakfast. So, and we're running late as always. Go. <laughs> Breakfast was the usual fare, so we opted just for a coffee. St Lucia is an island in the Eastern Caribbean and owes its unique and distinct architecture to being occupied by both the English and the French. St Lucia is one of only two sovereign states in the world named after a woman, the other being Ireland. Soon we headed out of the capital Castries and stopped at Marigot Bay to enjoy the views and sample banana capture. Wow, this island is beautiful. beautiful. Love it. St. Lucia is absolutely stunning. So I'm just giving Justin my wallet because I can't. I was pockets. thinking, what's he doing tapping my hand? He's tapping it's Justin because I'm trying to go take my wallet before <laughs> someone else nicks it. <laughs> yeah, this is Megan, being Megan nice. Bay? <laughs> Megan's Bay? I don't know. I'm not I don't know. We'll find out. We'll let you know. We'll put we'll it, write in it down below. Anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> so yes, it's, it's beautiful. beautiful. So there was a Oprah lot of Winfrey and, and Mick, who, Jagger. Mick Jagger. Have I'm more interested in Mick Jagger than Oprah Winfrey, but yeah. have houses here apparently. This is so. where they've done a, a bit of uh, movie, filming. So, so Blue Lagoon, Doctor Doolittle, Little, the original. Yeah, they've done <laughs> Romancing the Stone, which as soon as you did that, I was like, oh, and, I remember that. Film. And of course. Pirates of the Caribbean, Pirates of the Caribbean has been filmed in here. So it's also a natural harbour, so when there's a hurricane, the yachts all, the yachts all come in, in. shells are here. <laughs> there isn't a hurricane today, but we just have lots of yachts in. <laughs> so we also are trying. What's the noise about? We're also yeah. trying the banana ketchup, which is really good. It's they also have obviously banana rum. Can you tell they make banana? They grow bananas here. Yeah. So and Josh, hello. Josh, hello. What do you think? Nice oh, tour so far. Really Watch yourself playing. <laughs> He's just interested in the swimming and the um, and waterfall, the yeah. which we'll get to soon. Yeah. I'm going to a banana. Okay. Under each of these purple bags, we have one hand of bananas. And this is a banana. Okay? This is how it begins. Okay? After each of these petals rolls down, you get a hand of banana. Okay? The banana would actually start facing downwards. When it's getting into a mature state, it curls up. Okay? So the farmer has to pick up all the flowers to the end of the banana. Okay? If not, the birds will come suck on it and the banana will be no good. Okay? After the farmer will put the blue bag over it, it is called a diaphragm or St. Lucia terms, banana condom. <laughs> <laughs> okay? So after they put it, the farmer will actually put a ribbon to the end of the, the hand of the bunch of banana so that when it's time to harvest, they would know all white or all yellow or orange um, ribbons are good to harvest okay just to let them know but a banana plant would take approximately nine months to grow and after it would bear so we consider it to be there just like a pregnant lady okay ladies don't hit me okay but a lady can have more than one children a banana plant can only bear 
one bunch of bananas in its lifetime. Okay? After the farmer has then harvested from that banana plant, he cuts it down. And here, this plant takes the place of the mother. When this one is almost nine months, this baby here, they grow. Okay? So it's like the whole cycle in just one area. Now, a lot of people would actually call it a banana tree. It is not a tree. It is a it is a plant. It is made up of 80% water and 20% fiber. Look. You guys see water? If I squeeze on it, water. So 80% water, 20% fiber. If you have, if whilst you're on the farm, you get hurt. Like the machete cut you. What? What do you do there? What do you do? And this here, the water on this actually helps heal the wound. You, write, you tie that on the wound and it actually helps you. Okay? We, we also use this to make paper. Okay? They use that to make paper also. Okay? So, was that okay? We continued our drive to the Pitons and our driver told us more about the island's history and plants. Any guesses what this plant is? Time for another pit stop. More gorgeous views and some homemade banana cake. Mm. Anyone else noticing a theme with the food? We have to come back here. Oh, it's beautiful. It's longer here. So beautiful. It's just beautiful. I also really want to try that banana bread because it smells really nice. Yeah, it smells really <laughs> mild. Look at this. Yes, look, look, look at it. it. The sea all the way to like the rainforest and things. Oh, banana plantation. Wow. It reminds me a little bit. I know of, of Australia in some ways. I don't know what it is. It does feel very like kind of yeah. driving into almost the hinterland at the oh, moment. In, in uh, north of Brisbane, it just yeah. it just is very mistaken for me. I don't know. Anyway, it's very cool. Let's go and see what this banana bread is going to be like. It is fresh out of the oven. It is so hot. Yum. But, oh, oh, look at this. Yum. It tastes so smells so good. It tastes so good. Oh, this is like. I don't eat like bananas, but I'm tending to eat a lot of banana stuff all over here because it's so good. And this is just like the best banana bread. Finally, the pittons came into view. We were about to get a lot closer, after a short hike that is. And here we are in the jungle. And one can see the preteen. It's grumpy and doesn't like walking. It's Joshua. It's also called a Joshua Roebuck troll. So it's hot, but the scenery is absolutely amazing. Um, whew. St. Lucia is a very, very pretty island. We've seen some really nice scenery. Um, whew. It's just hot, isn't it? It's breathtaking. <laughs> breathtaking. The hike followed by the stairway to heaven were all worth it for that view, of course. We made it. Oh, we did. Up the stairway to heaven, and wow. Look at that, it's amazing. Is it heaven? Not the guy. <laughs> oh. It's funny, when you look at them, they look like they're stuck together, but actually there's like there's, two, three miles like apart. three miles apart. But, oh. So it's kind of crazy. <laughs> wow. Wow, it's amazing. Very well taken. Literally. Right. <sighs> this is downhill on the way back. Exactly. <laughs> Tarai Falls was a great relief from the heat of the day and sorely needed after the hike. 
even if it was rather busy. Wow. That was awesome. That was exhilarating. And it's really nice and cold, but it's great because uh, it has been a really hot day here. As you would have heard before in our previous video, so. It's very crowded, but it's very it's, exhilarating. It, yeah. But it's worth doing. Worth doing. Oh, wow. wow. After all that activity, we are happy to confirm the local food was scrumptious. Is it tamarind juice again? Mm. Oh, nice. Is that tamarind juice? Mm. Mm. Tam I love it. Yeah. This is a, you know, like a very nice match with green bananas and plantain, some sort of slaw, yeah. some rice, some noodle, some beans, and some jerk chicken. Jerk chicken. Yeah. I think it's jerk chicken or chicken of some sort. Spicy so, chicken. I'll tell you what the chicken's like first because that's that's just time of the show, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it nice? Yeah. On the bus ride back, we enjoyed some Bob Marley hits while some took a snooze. We got back just in time for the last embarkation and then headed up to the pool for some cocktails. Woo, it's hot. Cheers. It's hot. Cheers, it's hot. Miami Vice has blue curacao in here. Mud side all the way, baby. Good evening. As always, Justin is running late and behind. There he is. We're gonna take Josh up to the buffet and then he's gonna go to kids, I think. And we're gonna to go to, what's the restaurant we're going to today? I don't know, we'll go to Commodore Room. Mind. Commodore Room or possibly Hudson's, whichever one has the shorter queue. They're all main dining rooms, they're also the same food, so yeah. we'll try that, some of those, Ooh, but yeah. Good. Here we go. Amazing day at St. Lucia though. <sighs> Lots of drinks. So sleepy now though. Josh went to get a salad. There isn't really much salad in your salad. There's some corn though, I suppose that's good. There's Papa and I saying, oh, it's really good how Josh eats salad. Hang on, you went from potato and potato. <laughs> Crazy boy. So Tristan, where are we tonight? We're dining in the Commodore Room. It's very loud. It is very loud, but... I think I prefer Hudson's. Not Hudson's. Only because it's the main thing of one of our friends. You just like, you just like the name like, Hudson. Hudson's has better views. Yeah, that's true. What are you drinking? Sauvignon Blanc. A Chilean. A Chilean Sauvignon Blanc. Rothschild. I got me some southern fried chicken. Southern fried crunch chicken. And southern chicken. Southern chicken. And some biscuits and, and gravy. Biscuits and gravy. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Ladies and gentlemen, Viva La Veranda. Hopefully this works. Good evening. Good evening and welcome to Viva La Veranda. Viva La Veranda. La Veranda. I know, I sound a bit... No, a bit it was. You're a bit slurry there. No, I have because I have had a, quite a few drinks tonight. Apparently so. Yes. I'll do some of the, more of the talking therefore. Excuse me? Tonight I have a screwball whiskey. And I have... Now this looks like a champagne, but it's not. It's peach bellini, and it's the most weirdest looking peach bellini ever. Because usually it's orange, but it just, all they've done is put Prosecco and schnapps on it. Anyway. Boozy. Boozy. Um, so today we were in St. Lucia, mm. in Castries, in the capital, and we went to touch the pitons. Touch the pitons. Um, uh, obviously touch, we mean. We well, we mean from a distance. Yeah. So artifact that you should have seen, I'm sure, because it's stuck in the vlog. 
But yeah, so we had an amazing day today. Oh, it was absolutely stunning. Lucia is beautiful. It's absolutely paradise. Yeah, really we tried is. banana ketchup. Banana bread. Banana bread that nearly burnt our fingerprints off. Yeah. Can go, I can go robbing today because <laughs> I've got no fingerprints. <laughs> Uh, it was fresh out of the oven. Banana and plantain. Plantain and, plantain and green, green bananas. bananas. <laughs> uh, we had a very banana-y day. Um, yeah. We also saw the pitons and what else did we do whilst we were out on the tour? We had so much. We had a lunch, so traditional just, lunch. Yeah. Um, it, was, yeah it was such a great day, just exploring, went for a hike. Oh, of course. We went into um, swam under a waterfall. <gasps> yeah, that which was, was cool. absolutely stunning. Um, the thing with the it was very much Instagram moments of like it, I can yeah. make it look really pretty, and then I can show you the reality of this yeah. with lots of people here. There was these people. The only problem with the tour, it was great, but you did feel like ten minutes here, move on. Ten minutes here, move on. So it was very it was a bit burning sort down. of keep going, keep going. It was fascinating, going. especially yeah. just talk about and explaining about bananas. I'd never learned so much about bananas. Oh. Ooh. And hopefully you will have because I'll have cleared up the <laughs> audio a bit and it'll be in this video. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then this evening we came back on board. We had a few drinks up in the by the pool deck. A few. Well. Lots. Many. Uh, quite a lot. Uh, we watched them play bingo and it's kind of funny. Yeah. Um, and then Josh had dinner in the buffet, and we came down to the main dining room because he wanted to go to kids. And we went to the Commodore room tonight. We did. So it was a different main dining room. Yeah. Um. It's all right. It's I think that like it is nice because it has nice views. Yeah. Um, but it was okay. It was okay. I don't mind. As I mean, the menu is the same. Yeah, the menu is the so. same anyway. But the restaurant itself, I think, there's more ambience in Hudson's. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Tomorrow, we're going to be in St Martin. St Martin. And we're doing a local. We booked with a local tour company to do a tour of the island. And of course, Josh is most excited about going to Maho Beach and watching hopefully some planes land or take off or something. I don't that know. would be. That should be nice. quite cool. Yeah. Um, and I think the whole day sounds quite nice actually. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, you're going to have to join us for that. We're also going to Cagney's Steakhouse tomorrow night. Ooh. And. People rave about it, but let's see how we go. They do. And, and can it knock Crown Grill off the top spot? Because our favourite steakhouse at, at sea at sea is, is Crown, Crown Grill, Grill on Princess. Princess so we'll see if it can beat that one and then after that we're going to go for a late night showing of, of Beetlejuice Juice. which is the musical show that they have on which is showing tonight tomorrow night and the final night yeah um, and we're doing it we're booked in for tomorrow night so that mm. should be a lot of fun so we're going to have a jam packed day so, so we're back here now I say early it's not that early but to have an early night early because um, uh, we have to get up early tomorrow morning again and do it all and go crazy with fun times in St Martin so you'll have to tune into that episode oh. coming soon problem is is we not getting to like because we were late back to the port we were pretty much right on time this morning we haven't been able to go and do our shopping me Hawaiian shirt. Right, okay, good. I one. want me Hawaiian shirt. On that note, <laughs> I'm sure he'll find one somewhere. <laughs> On that note, say night. Good night. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, like, comment, and share.